In this video, I'm going to share with you a four step framework that you can use to start and grow your agency to a million a month. I know it sounds like a crazy figure, but trust me, this video is not clickbaity. This year, I was able to take my agency past the seven figure mark, which was a feat that was considered almost impossible in this agency model. And the strategies that I'm sharing with you today are the exact strategies I'm going to be using myself to take my agency to a million per month next year. But this video is going to be extremely valuable for those who already have an agency and are looking to actually grow it to new levels, but also those of you who haven't started your agency, because this is going to give you a roadmap that you can follow to get to these type of numbers and in a pretty short period of time. Now, am I saying you're going to hit these figures in the first month? No, absolutely not. But do I know that using this framework, you can scale past the six figure mark in less than, you know, six, eight months? Yes, 100%. I've done it. My students have done it. And using this framework, can you go ahead and hit the seven figure mark in less than two years? 100%. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to pick the right vehicle within the agency model. So if you've heard of social media marketing agency, at this point, you probably know that you can go down the local business route. So you can service restaurants, dentists, clinics, and all that stuff, or you could go down the online route. So you can service e-com businesses. Now, if you're a subscriber of this channel, you probably know what space I prefer. And for a number of reasons, the main reason that we're going to be focusing on this video though, is the fact that with e-commerce businesses, you can clearly tell them how much money you're making them. So for an e-commerce business, you can clearly tell them, Hey, I'm spending this much for you. I'm making you this much. And so here's why I'm charging you this much. With local businesses, you can't really do that. Why? Because you're bringing them leads. You're bringing them people to their physical store, right? And so those people could convert, could not convert, but ultimately it's not up to you. It's up to the business owner that you're working for to convert these people. And so you're not in control over your value. The second main reason for this video, why e-commerce marketing agency is way better and why working with e-com businesses is way better is because as you'll see in just a second, since we can clearly tell them how much money we're making them, we can actually charge a percentage of the money that we're bringing in. So now that we've picked the right vehicle, let's get into step number two, which is structuring the deals the right way. Now, when it comes to the agency model, what most agencies do is they just charge a fixed fee. And that's all good. And I believe in the fixed fee model. However, they're leaving so much money on the table by not taking a cut of what they're making their clients. So the way you want to structure your deals with your clients and the way I structure the deals with my clients is we always have a fixed fee, which I call the no brainer fee. We're getting paid, which is great because they have skin in the game. I truly believe that you have to pay to pay attention. And so by forcing the clients to pay a fixed fee and not just purely on performance, they have a lot more skin in the game. And also because when you're starting out, money is oxygen. So having that fixed fee come in is oxygen for you and your team to really scale your agency. But you soon realize that the percentages is really where the money is made. And for example, in seasons like Q4 with Black Friday right now, at the time I'm recording this, being around the corner as well as Christmas, we're going to make a lot of money as an agency because our clients are making a lot of money from the ads that we're going to be running for them. But enough talk, I actually want to show you real numbers of what I'm making with my agency. Now, do keep in mind that I made these tables for the month of May. So this is the month of May. Uh, but we can see here, obviously, I've, uh, I haven't included the client name for confidential reasons. If you're a bit skeptical, I recommend you watch a bunch of the videos on my channel where I uh, show screenshots with clients and, you know, calls with clients, etc., etc. Anyways, so in May, for example, we've got 11 clients. Here are the fixed fees. Now, these are good fixed fees. A lot of people might be surprised, though. Where are the, you know, 10K, uh, you know, above 10K fixed fees? And I've posted a bunch of uh, screenshots of 10K uh, payments uh, per month from clients. Where are those from, right? And and uh, where are those at in this table? Well, is the ad profit. And so here I've gone ahead and put the ad profit made from each client. Now, ad profit is the KPI that we look at um, when taking a chunk of the percentage of um, of the money that we've made them. I won't get into a calculation, but essentially that is what I consider the performance driven incentive. So typically our ad profit deals range from 10% to even 30%. And this is the total retainer that they generated that month per uh, each client, which brings the revenue to a total of around 95,784 uh, pounds. Uh, minus expenses, uh, you know, the, the profit margins are, are pretty solid uh, when it comes to uh, the agency model. I would even say I could make them even sharper, um, as in less, but I'm investing into quite a lot of tech. I'm investing into quite a lot of team members for my own brands, which I'll talk about in just a second. But we've got a total net profit of uh, 71,784 uh, pounds, which is around $97,805. However, let's not forget a very key component of the agency model, which is one of the reasons why I love it. I don't know what this is doing here, but it's one of the reasons why I love it. The fact that this is what this client's generated for us this month, but these clients have generated already. And I've put here, uh, I've made this column so you can see how much each client has already generated for us. 
just with fixed retainers, right? So I'm not even accounting the ad profit deals, which are actually, as you can see here, higher, right? Typically are higher than our fixed fee, okay? So you can pretty much double this um, for the ad profit deals. But we can see here, first client retention, five months so far, right? Second client retention, 16 months. Uh, third client retention, 12 months. I'm very aware that we've got a very high retention rate. Why? Because our switching costs are very high. We have the 360 approach. I won't get into it in this video, but 14 months retention, 10 months, seven months, seven months, 10 months, six months, eight, uh, eight months, nine months, right? And you can see here the total value of our fixed retainers, just simply how much this client has generated us fixed, no ad profit, a factor into this, right? And you can see that it's around 500k just with the fix. Keep that in mind, okay? Uh, so why, you know, that, that's one of the reasons why I love this business model and why I love e-commerce as well, because when your value is super clear and if you're making the money, they're probably not gonna leave you, right? So you can keep them on for a pretty long time. So that is that for the retention as well, the, the retention table, which I think is a, is a really important metric to also consider into the equation. So that was May, August, I hit around 150K per month and has been slowly scaling since. And then November and December, I'm expecting uh, quite a bit more because of Black Friday, Christmas, and those performance driven incentives, doing quite a lot of the heavy lifting. Although right now I've reduced the, the number of clients we're working with, uh, but the uh, ad profit deals would probably be fatter because of Black Friday and December. Now, if you compare that to last year, last year was making 40K per month USD, which is not bad, but you can see the type of growth that you can experience with this type of model. And the cool thing about what I do is that I document pretty much everything on my uh, YouTube channel. So I've literally got a video of me going through uh, my sources of income and what I generated then. And the 40K wasn't even just purely my agency. Right now I'm talking just purely my agency. So that's one thing to keep in mind. That's why I'm pretty confident that next year per month, I could probably take it to 300 to 400k per month, which is honestly insane to me, but it speaks about the power of those performance driven incentives and working with a select, not a huge number of e-commerce clients, but a select few uh, e-com clients that you really are passionate about, that you're really questioning it for, right? And that bring you a lot of money with those ad profit deals. The fixed fee is kind of cool. It gives you that predict the predictability, that peace of mind that you're not gonna go back to, you know, stacking shelves at, I don't know, uh, you know, Walmart uh, or, you know, my engineering uh, job. But essentially that's why I'm confident I can take it to that. Again, I still, you know, when I look at those figures, I'm like, how, you know, this this shouldn't be possible. But this, the reason why I show you these figures is number one, in the name of pure transparency, exactly how, for example, for that month of May, exactly how the fi uh, finances were broken down, right? And what makes up that bottom line. And to show you that is possible. But if I can do it, students of mine are also able to do it you can do it. All right, so that is the second section of this video, which is making sure that you understand how much money there is in the performance driven incentive and also what percentage of uh, the money that I generate with my agency comes from that, which is, as you can see, a big, big chunk. And that is why it's of insane importance that you're focused on that. The next section of this video plays a massive role when it comes to growth, and that is you smashing the like button. In all seriousness, it really helps a lot of time with the algorithm, the whole channel, I'd really appreciate it. So go ahead and do that right now. Got it? Good. Uh, with that being said, let's get back into the video. The third section of this video is incredibly vital and it won't be something that you come across at the start of your e-commerce marketing agency um, journey because it's, more, it's, it's something that um, really comes up only as you generate those incredible relationships, uh, which is one of the benefits of going into the e-commerce marketing agency model, the fact that you get to meet a lot of really cool founders and the fact that you get to um, build these really solid bonds with them, right? Because you're literally growing their business and you're their money makers, right? Uh, we are the money makers, we're making them the money and they're very happy with us, right? And so uh, if you become a, a, an integral part of their business, because what we do has a direct impact on their bottom line, if you're making them a lot of money, right? They're actually very happy and oftentimes they'll tell you or you can just request to have an equity deal. Now, what an equity deal uh, means is that they give you a percentage of the business, right? So they give you a percentage of the business in equity and then they'll pay you out in dividends every single month, okay? Those dividends are um, basically decided by the shareholders. You can agree to a certain minimum dividend every single month, but essentially you get paid every single month and if that business is to sell, which obviously you, have, you should have a conversation with the client, but if the motivation is to sell the business or the motivation is to bring on external investment, et cetera, et cetera, you are gonna get a chunk of that. And that could be millions down the line. Sure, it's not gonna be the instant, you know, quick, uh, you know, gratification that everyone loves on social media. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to, you know, flex the, I don't know, 5 million, 10 million, or even a million, right? 
uh, in the next few months. But later down the line is going to pay quite a lot of dividends by having that equity deal if the company is to sell. And usually what I've seen, uh, the equity deals that I get into and that I've, got, that, that I've gotten into in the past, which I've been to, um, the, you know, the goal is really to sell. And so the one equity deal that I currently have, I won't get into too much of the specifics and I'd love to um, because if you guys are subscribed to this channel, you know how, you know, I, I just lost transparency and I love telling you guys everything. But the equity deal that I have with this company is less than 10%. I'll tell you that, but it's still a pretty decent chunk of money um, and it's something that really excites me. So I can't talk too much about it, but essentially equity deals is something that you want to keep in mind further down the line, right? So you start with your fixed fees plus your performance driven incentives. Then you start adding those equity deals as you start building really good relationships, as you start having those, you know, 12, 14, 16 month retentions with your clients, the conversation is going to come up, right? And if you request it, if you demand it even, right? And you're an integral part of their business. And if they feel like without you, they wouldn't be able to have the success they're having, which is often the case with e-commerce marketing agencies. If you do a good solid job, um, it's pretty much a no brainer for them. And the final thing I'll see on this is that a lot of founders, a lot of e com founders, they're smart and they want their key players to have skin in the game, right? To, uh, to a whole new level, right? And when you have equity, you feel like an owner, you have that owner mentality uh, and you're willing to work harder. You're willing to make those sacrifices. You're willing to uh, look at various different components of the business, not just the marketing side of things. Um, and so it's, you know, for them, it's, it's also a bit of a, a no brainer. The fourth stepping stone of the plan to making a million a month with my e-commerce marketing agency and something that you really need to keep in mind because it's, you know, it's a pretty exciting thing and it's something that can make you a lot of money, especially a bit further down the journey is own your own e-com brands. So just a few days ago, I put out a video of how I basically went from zero to 70K per month with one of the e-com brands that I launched. That is my brand. And I don't say that to brag. I say that to convey the fact that it's one of the best things about running an e-commerce marketing agency, which is the fact that over the months where you're uh, helping out clients, fixed fees, plus your performance driven incentives, you also get to build an incredible team that can help you grow your own e-com brands. Not only that, but you build connections that we spoke about for the equity agreement, right? You get to build uh, knowledge in different aspects of e-commerce, not just marketing, but logistics, manufacturing, product development, and all, you know, email marketing and all these different aspects. And so months down the line, you can actually go ahead and open up your own e-com brands. Why? Because not only do you have the team as well, but you also have the capital, the capital you've been building up during these months from the fixed fees, from the performance of incentives, et cetera, et cetera. So it's really one of the greatest things about building an e-commerce marketing agency. I talked about it from the very early start. I talked about how it's going to allow me to build e-com brands, but now that I get to actually do it, I'm even more excited and amazed at the fact that this could be done. And it's all because I picked the right vehicle in the first place. So a little recap, I just mentioned one of the e-com brands that I've got. As I mentioned last month, it made 70K per month. This Black Friday, we're yet to see, but hopefully uh, quite a bit more than that. And I'm also launching another e-com brand, hopefully before the end of the year. There's been a few little mishaps and a bunch of you have been asking me where the e-com brand that I've been talking about that I made a video on uh, when that is dropping. I wish it had dropped already, but hopefully it'll drop before the end of the year. It's a brand that hits closer to home than this first brand that I, that I told you about. It's something that I personally use myself every single day, something that I'm extremely passionate about, and I'll be documenting the whole journey on my channel. Now, I'm planning on taking these two brands to 250K per month next year. I'm very confident that I'll be able to do that. Uh, maybe it doesn't happen. <laughs> Obviously, there's always that possibility, but I'm pretty confident that I can do that. Uh, the first one, there's a track record there, and the growth has been insane. The second one, the product is just honestly insane, and the marketing videos and ad copies and funnel that we've built is, is, is pretty cool. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to uh, take that to, to that point. Uh, if not, that's completely fine as well. But another option next year, kind of like a plan B, if these two brands don't scale massively uh, for whatever reason, is opening up a new brand and taking that to around 100K per month. Uh, it's already a product and a brand that that we've uh, gotten that we've gotten started with and uh, it's pretty much there already. Uh, so it's just a matter of launching. Um, but I won't be launching it if the other brands end up scaling to uh, the point that I want them to scale to uh, simply because I believe that less is more. And it's better to just focus on a few things than a bunch of things. All right, so for the final section, the grand total, adding things up. So if we take kind of the, the higher uh, end and say that my e-com agency will continue scaling uh, from where it currently is and scale to 400K per month next year, we can add 400K to the counter. And if I manage to scale these brands to 250K per month, again, I'll be documenting, I'll be making videos on this channel, just like I always do, uh, documenting the, the, the process. If I manage to do that, then we can add 250K for one of the brands and 250K for 
uh, the second brand, which again, hits closer to home. And I'll be documenting the journey uh, for that brand. And that is close to a million. I always like to uh, leave a, a little wiggle room, but that is my plan of taking my e-com agency to a million per month next year. The final thing I'll say is uh, a lot of you may say, well, uh, you know, 500K from that is not through your agency. It's from e-com brands. Sure, but I could have only created this e-com brands if I had had my agency. So it's, it's, it's just an extension. It's a byproduct. And it really stems from that business model because I'm literally using the same team. I'm literally using the resources, the connections that I garnered through the journey. And so, yeah, these e-com brands are, are mine, but they're still kind of clients to my e-com agency, um, e-com Dorios. And the final, final thing I'll say is I know a lot of these goals may seem very lofty, but uh, one of the things that I wanted to do with this video is not just talk out of my ass, but actually show you what I'm doing and how fast things can grow. Uh, that's one of the, the, the key things that I want you to, to take away from this video. The trajectory that this journey can take so that you know the, the stepping stones to that six-figure mark, to that seven-figure mark, and also uh, to show you just how fast things can scale if you structure things the right way, if you structure deals the right way, if uh, you, you have the right vehicle and you meant all the stuff that I talk about in this video and that I talk about in my channel. And with that being said, if you want to see more of these strategies, more juicy trainings, make sure to sub to my channel. There's so much content coming out. I'm going to be documenting the whole journey as well, and you don't want to miss it. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.